Epic intro music! Hello Painted Wolves, like and pick this here and we are back with Resident Evil 3, the remake. Resident Evil 3. Now this is part 3, uh, <laughs> on the last part, all you saw happen was me die consistently and I'm still at the beginning of the game. If anybody wants me to have a look at the concept art or anything like that, let me know, because there's some very interesting stuff, like Jill's room, which we were having a nice little look at in the first episode, uh, which I think was a good episode, and look at that. Look at that. I am not me. The new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpses already shambling the city's streets. The hulking creature has pursued Jill relentlessly in her attempts to escape the city. It would surely have cornered her were it not for the intervention of a man named Carlos Oliveira. Everything you want. Toy Uncle Super Shop. Giving those Chucky vibes. And also I saw an old, I saw an old Lily Allen song actually. Um, called Alfie, which is about her brother Alfie. Alfie Allen, you might know as Fionn Greyjoy. And basically, I think that Lily Allen is actually very underrated, to be honest. She's actually really, really good. Her songs are always really kind of quite upbeat, but with sort of a more dark tone. Anyway, go check out that song Alfie. It's actually hilarious. I might even caption it. So we, what happened last time is we went, died eight times, we ran about, we killed a bunch of enemies, we came back and found an incredible stash there. Um, I'm just going to check in the item box. We haven't got anything, but we've got a herb and we've got some gunpowders. We'll combine two of the gunpowders for a start and then we will reload the gun. I was thinking I could do it there. But yeah, as I was saying last time, is the graphics are absolutely incredible. Jill looks fantastic. Just look at her. She's perfect. And as Pio said on Twitter, he sees exactly why people want Jill to step on them. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of true. You just have to look at her. It's all, it's all, in, the, uh, all in the shoulders. Uh, but even the shooting on this game, everything just feels perfect. And the little side steps... Um, when you actually get out there and stuff like that. So let's go! I think we're going to try and take on a couple of the zombies this time. Um, that didn't go so well, did it? So we'll switch to the knife and creep up slowly and stab him. And I think that means he's dead. What we're not going to do this time is let them grab us on the floor and we're going to try and clear a bit more of the area to give us a bit more safe zone to sort of actually go around and explore because I want to find the collectibles as well I, I really want to find the collectibles and I bet you there's an early one somewhere but there's Toy Uncle already so we've got to get around there and hopefully some of the zombies are still dead because I think I killed these guys do they respawn? Or was he just not dead? Let's try stab him. Come on. I think that took one shot. Because I think... I can't remember if I killed him because the recording actually cut out um, while I was fighting that one at the end of the last one. But we'll have to find that later on. Let's try and kill a couple more zombies down here. Because it would be nice to at least clear this area. Oh, felt like a little bit of a frame drop there. Okay, so we'll swap to the knife. I think when they do that little twitch, no, she's still getting up. That me that generally means they're dead, and I thought that the second twitch was definite then. That's gotta be a death. So now we're out of ammo, so I'm not sure what my plan is here because I've because they've now cover they've now kind of blocked the the escape route. I think this one's still locked onto me and the other two have forgotten. No. So I'm going to wait for them to wander off a little bit. I think the woman is dead. No, I'm going to run right now. 
because we're going to try and open that safe. Every time, because we remember the code now because I did the editing, it's 937, but it's just a matter of like which way do we want to turn the dials and that. Doing a lot of talking because you might not have seen the last couple of parts, but I'd, and I'm also trying to take YouTube a little bit, a tad, a tad more seriously, to be honest. Um, I really want to try and make something out of it. So we've got that more handgun ammo. You know what I mean? I really want to actually try and make something out of it. So we're going to try and do it. It's 937, but it's just a matter of which way do we turn the dial. I'm going to give it a go and I'll probably cut away. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that works. Okay, so it is how I just showed you. So what have we got in here? So the dot sight on the handgun, that would make it... I think this is going to make an incredible difference, actually. And the G19. Is the G19 a Glock? Is that the, what the G stands for? I don't know. But I've got the impression that it's going to significantly improve aim now. Uh, it does feel steadier, and I think that's probably what it will do. So we'll try and shoot this guy. Cause I, yeah, because he is still going. We're still wasting a bit of ammo, but we're still getting used to the uh, the method. Okay, come on. Stab before he gets up. Come on. Just want to make sure. Yeah, there's no way he's getting up after that, surely. We'll keep the gun out just in case we can knock one of them down with two bullets. But we'll need to go find some more ammo before we go and clear the other area out. Um, so, but yeah, there was ammo here. Yeah. And then... Um, that was the blocked off area. So I'm tempted to go and use these bullets to try and clear the donut shop a little bit more. I think that is what I'd like to do. So we're going to go back, try and clear that donut shop out a little bit. See if we can kill the ones out front with 15 bullets. See if we can lure one of them over. It looks like he's already latched onto us. No. Damn it. Okay, we definitely got a headshot on him there. But he didn't even notice us with that headshot. How weird is that? That's a headshot too. We don't, we'll just make sure there's no one to the left. There is one to the left and he's standing still. That was a headshot. That was a headshot. Now we want to back up. So he's gone down. Okay, we want to move because there's one on the other side, I don't think. Yeah. So we want to at least get this one. Okay, so we popped his head. So he is definitely dead. Now we want to try and possibly deal with one more. Oh, is the other guy dead? He doesn't look like he's getting back up. Don't know, I can't actually see him. Kind of want to have a quick look. Yeah, so he looks like he's actually dead and not getting up, but I might stab him just to be sure. Um, I do want to try and get this guy to at least fall down. Oh, we've popped his head too and we've got one bullet left. Now I want to stab this one with the knife. Why does she not use the light at this point? So we killed everything here, so we can have a look here. More gunpowder, perfect. So now we can search the area. Okay, so she turns the light on. I'm going to grab that ammo. And get back out again, just to be sure. I think I'm going to cut away, go back and save it, honestly. Because I don't want to have to shoot these zombies again. Look at those petrol prices. If only the oil companies now were selling them that, <laughs> like that. Instead, they're paying people to take the oil away. How mad is that? 
actually, because I've got one gunpowder, I'm going to go up here first and kill the zombie on the roof because there was a g another gunpowder up on the roof, if I remember correctly. And something... Oh, yeah, in here, I think. Nope, red herb. But still, we do need those herbs, so we'll combine that. So if we do get hurt again, it won't matter. But yeah, we've got to shoot the explosive barrel to get rid of this one without hassle. And now we're down to 15 bullets exactly, and he should be dead. But, it's, you know, it's never definite in Resident Evil. But yeah, there's the gunpowder. So now we can combine the two gunpowders, and we have a solid 25 bullets with a full health respray. And now we can knock this ladder down too. I would like to clear the donut shop out, I think. What is that noise? Oh, is it just that? It's just that. So, what donuts would you like? What's your favourite donut, everybody? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> so, Moon's Donuts makes me think of Moonsuni. Alright. Maybe she even watches this episode. That would be amazing. One of my... Um, I think I might even shout her out. She's got an amazing Instagram. She does have a YouTube channel, but she doesn't really use it. Um, why not? It's a time to shout her out. Follow her on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. She's amazing, and I've known her for ages on Twitter. Probably over a year or something. One of the best artists that I know. Oh, yes, so we got another save room. So we didn't need to actually run all the way back. Um, that's actually very nice to know. So we'll pick up the green herb. A fancy box. Okay, so the fancy box is interesting. Don't know what it's for yet. Um, so let's have an examine on the fancy box. We can open it. And we have a red jewel. An imitation ruby. Looks like it's made to be slotted into something. Uh, very good. So we will be needing that. I don't know what for, but we will be needing it, indeed. So we'll save it again now that we made it over here. So it'd be nice if we just found this to start with, so we wouldn't have had to run all the way back. So we're in the donut shop, and now we're going back out, and there will, I'm sure, be zombies in here. So this is the, the this is the Resident Evil that I love, honestly. The scary atmosphere that we had on 1, 2, and 3, and even 4. But 4 is where it started to get a little bit more action-packed, didn't it? Um, and then 5. 5 is still one of my favourite Resident Evils of all time. Don't get me wrong. It really is. Um, but... Wait. Okay, so we got more gunpowder. Nothing else to pick up. And then she didn't react to a knife, so I'm sure she's not going to move. So there's not actually any zombies in the donut shop. That is actually very good to know. Unless there's one behind the counter or something. No? Ah, oh, I was expecting there were going to be loads in here. Because I ran through, saw the bodies, and thought they're definitely getting up, you know? So now let's slowly open this door. Okay, so... That will at least get rid of one of them, I hope. Now, I'm going to let them try and batter their way in. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to actually take damage here. Well, did it kill them all? Oh, no, he's round the corner. The, the stealthy bastard. Right, let's run. But he's going to bite me as soon as I open the door. That's why I don't want to do it. Open and back off. I don't want to... He's right behind the door, I think. And I don't want to waste ammo either. I'm going to go the other way. I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> I'm not putting up with that. I'm going to run all the way around just so I get more chance to shoot him. Back over here again now. And there's a couple of zombies this way for sure. There's one there, I think, and a floor one there. But I can't remember if I killed them or not. So I'm going to stab this one on the floor creep slowly up to him and he better not move okay so he got up and we headshotted him so it only wasted one bullet so that is perfect 
Uh, did we alert the other guy? I don't think so. Now, was there one in here? I can't remember. We'll take another green herb. Um, just make sure I'm picking up everything. So we've got high-grade gunpowder, which we don't want. Because the high-grade gunpowder just means that we can get um, just uh, shotgun shells, I think it is. And this is where the Aqua Queen is, if you didn't see the other one. Call me. Escape to ecstasy. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't call her. But anyway, these are the code. 937, the clue was Aqua Queen. And it tells you which way to turn them as well. So we'll get more handgun ammo. Perfect. And what is this? Service quality satisfaction. Well, not any longer, mate. <laughs> we'll just go and take on this guy because I think a guy pops out round behind this truck. Oh, no, he was the one we blew up with the, um... With the barrel. Oh, that was a bit of a wild shot. Okay, so when our shooting was not on point there. Oh, no, there is one to the right, look. Okay, so he's gone down, but we can't do anything about that because the other one's still latched onto us. Okay, so he's gone down. We'll try to stab him quickly. I think that that's the death animation, but I'm not actually sure. That Yeah, it's got to be the death animation now. And then, did he die? We've got to get over quickly, just in case. No, he didn't, look. He twitched. Okay, um, we probably could have risked more shots there. I mean, stabs. But I don't really want to. So we've killed him as well. And we've got 15 bullets left to deal with the last one, I think. So we'll easily clear this whole area out this time. And that actually might have been all of them. Uh, yeah, looks like all of them. We're at the... Up Rude. Didn't actually hear what that's... Oh, no! Stay down! Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. Is this one dead? Yeah. So what have we got in here? More gunpowder, so we can mix the two gunpowders. And we again find some more ammo. So that is exactly what we want. We can't get anything out of that car. Um, but that is the whole place searched head to toe. Except to go up to the railway thing. Uh, can we get in this one yet? Oh, yeah. We've... Oh, no. What are we doing? We headshotted him instead of using the knife. So we need the bolt cutters for that too. But I'm tempted to go save it again, actually, because... Yep, cutting away to go save at the donut shop again. Just because I'm playing this one extra careful today because I want to actually progress. So we've killed every zombie in the first area on hardcore. I think that's a bit of an achievement. So now we are going to head into the railway bit that we did briefly run into before and pick up the hose. And then we'll start to get back into unknown territory. Uncharted territory. Okay, so close that. Stab the window. Now we want to edge closer to this one to see if he's alive. I love that little edge where she's nervous, like she's nervously going, Alright, alright. <laughs> but basically, the game, amazing. I'm loving every bit of it. Now, that is not a zombie. That is a zombie. Now, they do take a lot of shots, even to the head. Oh, come on, Jill. Yeah, that is the death animation, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So this is the hose. 
Um, but we, well, we can pick it up. We can pick it up. I was thinking our inventory might be full. So now we can go put out the fire, but we still want to explore everything else first. So there was a hand grenade in there. It wasn't there, but I just want to have a quick look around a bit more. So the subway employees memo. We did already read this out. We did already read that out. So we've got to go find a way to get the shotgun and break the chain. And then we can come back to all of these places and get all the stuff. This is the one where we need to... Anyway, let's take that. Um, not sure what good a hand grenade is against normal zombies, though, unless I just run out of ammo. Gunpowder. Hmm. So we can't pick up the gunpowder either, so we can come back remember where those two gunpowders are. Let's have a look in here. I don't think there was any zombies in this one. If I remember correctly. Oh, look, there we go. That's one of the, the, the figures, isn't it? Yes, boys. Hello, Charlie. So now we know exactly what they look like. We won't be fooled. Oh, if only I could have one of those donuts. We've read this as well, that one, I'm sure. And this is another one where we can't get into because we need some sort of lock pick or key to open all of those, I think. But yeah, so this is something to do with the railway, so we'll have to get back here as well. But for now, we've killed everything in sight, so we can just go and remove the fire. So saving on the way, en route. How many times did we die in the last part? Was it seven or eight? <laughs> it was something ridiculous, I know, but... Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.